Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing a clownfish. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. You ready to start? Yes. To draw with, we're going to use a marker, but first we're going to draw with a pencil. And this is so we can draw a guide shape of the general shape of our clownfish first before we use our marker. So I'm going to turn my paper sideways. It makes it a little easier sometimes to draw. I'm going to draw a big oval shape about this size. So I'm going to press hard. Uh, with the pencil, but you can press lightly so it's easier to erase when you're done. Now, I'm, yeah, so I went back over it a couple times. Now, my oval shape is a little more pointed at the front and also the back. So maybe right here you could draw a little more of a point, not a sharp point, but uh, a round point. There you go. Yeah, it's perfect. That's the nice thing about using a pencil is you can draw your guide shape just the way you want it before you draw with the marker. Yeah. Now we're going to switch to our marker and we're going to draw all of the details on this oval shape. So first let's draw the eye. We're going to start right here and I'm going to draw a circle about this size and we can color it in too. Then I'm also going to draw the mouth and it's really small. Now let's draw the tail. I'm going to start on the oval shape right here and I'm going to draw part of it on the oval and then we're going to draw a curve that comes up. So it starts by going down and then back up. And we're going to repeat that same step except on the bottom for the back fin. So we're going to start here on the oval. We're going to draw up and then down. Then we're going to draw a line that connects the top down to the bottom, but we're going to draw it natural looking. We're going to draw it kind of wavy like this and then connect down. Now let's draw the front of our fish. We're going to start here at the mouth and we're going to draw along the guide lines that we drew with the pencil. We're going to draw up over the forehead and we're going to stop just behind the, the eye. Just stop right about there. Then we're going to draw the front of the top fin. So we're going to draw a curve that comes up and stops there. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes back down and connects back to the oval shape. Now let's draw, there's another fin on the top. We're going to draw another line that comes out and back towards the tail. And then we're going to curve back down and connect to the tail. Cool. Now we're going to draw the bottom of our fish. We'll start here at the mouth and we're going to draw along the guideline of our shape. We're going to stop about the same distance as the top fin. Then let's draw a curve. We're going to come down diagonal like this and then we're going to curve back up to the belly or the oval shape. Then we're going to start here. We're going to draw another curve that comes back like this and then we're going to curve into the tail. Hey, you're doing a great job, Jack. Yeah. I love it. Okay, now let's draw the other fin that's behind this one right here. So we're going to repeat the same shape. We're going to curve down like this and then we're only drawing part of it because it's behind this other one. Yes. Now let's draw the side fin. We're going to start here just behind the eye and we're going to draw two diagonal lines. We're going to draw one coming down and then we're going to leave a little space and draw one going up. Then we're going to connect the top down to the bottom with a big curve. Looks like a backwards C. That's the general shape of our clownfish, and except it just looks like a fish. We need to add all of the cool white stripes on our fish. So we'll start here right behind the eye and we're going to draw a wiggly line that comes behind the eye and then we're going to come down further and then we're going to connect under the chin. Now we're going to draw the back of the white stripe. So we'll start here and Really, you don't have to draw the exact same line. You can make your stripes wiggle any way you want. I'm going to come forward like that. Now it's starting to look like a clownfish. Yeah, it is. Now we're going to draw another stripe right here. We're going to start 
in the middle of this top fin, and we're going to draw a wiggly line that comes down and connects to the side fin. Then we're going to start here, the, the stripe is going behind the side fin, and we're going to draw a wiggly line that comes back here and connects to the belly. All right, now let's draw the other side of this big white stripe. I'm going to start here, I'm going to draw a wiggly line that comes down and then connects to the belly also. Let's add another white stripe back here on the tail. I'm going to start here, we'll draw a wiggly line that connects to the bottom of the tail. And then we're going to draw the back of that stripe. The, that one's not as wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw, they have black stripes on their fins. The tips of their fins. Yeah, the tips of their fins. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw this shape that comes back, curves down, and then connects to there, the back of the white stripe. That's a little tricky. It's okay if it looks a little different too. Now we're going to draw the other side of this black stripe. I'm going to draw, this time I'm going to draw wobbly, just like the end of the tail. And then let's color in that stripe. Now we're going to add a stripe on this fin right here. So I'm going to start on the back of the white stripe and I'm going to draw a curve that matches that same shape of the fin and connects down to the front of this white stripe. It's a little tricky. Yeah, you did it. Now here I'm going to start right on top of where we first started. And as I come back here, I'm going to get further away and then I'm going to end in the same place where I ended. Does that make sense? Yes. So it starts thin and then it gets thick towards the middle of the fin. We're going to color this shape in. That'll make it a little easier to see. So it gets thick right here and then it gets thin down here at the bottom. So we're going to repeat that same stripe. We're going to put it down here on the bottom fin. I'm going to start here. We'll draw the same curve that comes back. And then we're going to start in the same spot, get thicker in the middle and then end in the same spot. Kind of looks like a crescent shape. Yeah. Now let's color in that stripe. These other fins, we're going to do them slightly different. I'm going to start here and we're going to draw a curve like that. And the whole tip of this fin will, is black. So there's not this extra, extra stripe. Then let's also draw another curve at the end of the fin that's behind this one. And we'll color that in too. Let's do the same thing on the side fin. So I'm going to start here on the top of the side fin. We'll curve around and match the shape and then connect. And then we can color in that crescent shape also. Let's do the same thing on the top fin. I'm going to draw the shape, comes around, and then we're going to connect in. Then let's color in the tip of that fin also. Let's just add a few more lines. Up here at the top, right here, this is the, the middle white stripe right here. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a line that connects to the back of the top fin. Then down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve that matches the guide pencil line that comes forward, but I'm going to stop halfway. And that's it. Let's switch to our pencil. Before we color our drawings, let's use the eraser and erase the pencil lines that you can still see. Now we're ready to color our drawings. We're just going to use orange first. You ready to fast forward again? Yes. Jack, we did it. That, although that was pretty simple. Yeah. We just we just colored orange, the different stripes, and we're using our biannual markers, but you could use whatever you have at home. The color that we used was Y505. This is an orange and we, that we use for the stripes. And we could leave it just like this, but I think we should add a little bit of shading just to make it look more realistic. So we're going to use our CG03. This is a, a light gray color. We're going to add some shadows and shading. So let's first draw a shadow or color a shadow right behind the side fin. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw this crescent shadow right behind the side fin, just like that. So you can color over the white and then also color and layer on top of the orange down here at the bottom. Let's also add a shadow underneath the belly. So I'm going to start here. We can add a th thick 
a line that goes across the whole body and ends down here at the tail. Well, that looks really cool. That already makes the drawing look so much more 3D. Look yeah. at that. Let's also add a shadow on this fin that's the orange fin that's behind this one. Yeah. Now let's add a texture to all of our fins. So right here down at the bottom, we can add little lines like this that come in from the black tip of the fin. So we just draw little shadow lines that come in like that. And we can do the same thing on this back fin. I'm gonna start all the way on the edge so where it's white, and then we'll go through the black stripe and then into the orange. That looks really cool, Jack. Let's do the same thing up here on the top fin. Let's also do lines up here on this front, on the front top fin. And this one, I'm gonna space them out a little further from each other. So back here, they're really close and up here, they're spaced out. And then let's also add stripes on the very back fin, tail fin. Now these lines back here, I tried to angle like this, they follow the shape of the tail fin. So you start this way, and then as they come around, they angle back up. This kind of looks like a fan. Yeah. Let's do that same thing that we did back here on the tail fin, let's do it on the side fin. So I'm gonna start up here, angling them one way, and then as they come around, angle them back up. Jack, give me five. You did an awesome job on drawing and coloring your realistic clownfish. Thank you. I hope our friends are gonna take time to color their drawings also. What else could they do to their drawing? Add a background. Oh yeah, a cool saltwater background would be awesome. Or you can draw them in a sea anemone. Oh yeah, that's where they live. Yes. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your clownfish. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.